what is a circle? A circle, it is a two-dimensional closed shape or say a two-dimensional closed figure. So, on a two-dimensional plane, okay, let me consider any arbitrary point O here. Okay, and then I'm going to consider any arbitrary distance, say OA. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take into account the set of all those points which are lying at exactly this fixed distance from this fixed point. Okay, so I'm going to take into account all those points, okay, lying at a fixed distance from this fixed point. So, when I will join these points, okay, I'll get a circle, a two-dimensional figure, okay. So, here O, it is known as center of the circle, OA is the radius of the circle. Next, if I'm going to draw this line, okay, BC, then you see POC. This is known as diameter of the circle, okay? And the midpoint of this line is nothing but the center of the circle. That means what? OB is equal to OC. Also, their lengths, they are equal to OA. That means OA, OB, OC. These are radii of this circle, okay? Next, this portion, okay? Curved portion of the closed line. This is known as arc of the circle. Any any portion of the curved line if you take okay be it this this okay this okay they are the arcs of this circle the portion of the circle okay that is bounded in between any two radii in this case oa and oc also bounded by an arc ac that means by two radii and an arc that portion okay it is known as sector of the circle okay next i'm going to draw this line so here DE, okay, that joins any two points on the circle, okay. DE, it is known as chord of the circle. Diameter, it is also a chord and it is the longest chord of the circle, okay. So D is the chord and you see, yeah, the chord, it divides the circle into two portions. One is the portion above the chord and the other below the chord. Also you see the chord, it subtends two arcs on the circle, okay. So this is the minor arc and this is the major arc that the chord subtends on the circle. 